Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-March 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you any meetings of the tarot cards, but I'll also provide you any intuitive messages that I may receive. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me greatly. And you'll also be notified when I post new videos in the future. But with that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. <coughs> in the first column, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close for you. Column number two, we're going to take a look at what's happening through the end of March. We're going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. Um, we're also going to do a healing crystal, a healing no, and three yes or no questions for you. But let's jump in and see here. We have a summary card, um, and we have the card friction. So friction's an interesting thing when you, when things get moving, there's friction. Um, so friction is oftentimes a sign of movement. So likely there's been some good movement on something for you, Pisces, in the last few weeks. But let's take a look and see what we've got going on. The first card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is a great card. It's the first card in the Major Arcana. Um, it indicates fresh start. Um, it's taking chances. It's new paths, new adventures. Very much so a card of new beginnings. Um, so there's something new going on for you, Pisces. The next card that we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very bold card. It's a card of power, leadership. It can also be associated with charm or courage. Um, the interesting thing with this card, so I do think maybe for some of you this new adventure could be a leadership role, but you seem to be in a position of power, Pisces, which is always a good thing. Um, but it's also very much show charm and courage, so a reminder to stay courageous as we work through whatever this new beginning is for you. Then at the bottom we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a really good card. It's a card of wishes coming true. Um, so I feel like you've wanted this new beginning for a really long time. Um, this is also a card of good health and it could be material abundance as well. So again, maybe for some of you moving into a leadership role, that will come with higher pay. Um, but this is saying that like whatever you want, you can have. So I feel like for a lot of you, you've been really hoping for this new beginning. Let's see what kind of clarifying messages we have. The first clarifying card we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of feeling like you're at rock bottom. It's an ending, um, but for every ending, there's a brand new, shiny, beautiful beginning. Um, so this just indicates like whatever hard thing that you've been going through, it's come to an end and you're new, now at this new beginning. Uh, excuse me, Pisces. The next card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles is a card of giving or receiving help. Um, it's also a card of generosity. So I just feel like you've been doing something for somebody lately. Again, you're in that position of power or leadership, but it's like you've been very generous with it. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. So we have two really good money cards here, Pisces, with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is about being very resourceful, um, and then that's on top of a money card. So I feel like this new beginning, when we look at it from a big picture, long-term perspective, Pisces, um, this is a good, stable, financial money move for you as well. So now let's move into our next column, which is going to be what's going to happen through the end of March. We'll pull another summary card here. We have ready but waiting. Um, so going into the end of March, there may be some waiting for you, Pisces. Um, you're ready to go and maybe things just aren't moving as fast as you would like them to move. But let's see what cards we have here. The first card we have is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very hard working, um, very studious, very focused. Um, this could be a card of new love too, but very focused is the message that's coming through. So even though things are not moving maybe as fast as you would like them to, Pisces, you do need to stay focused on it. 
The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, another financial card for you. So definitely there will be some money news coming in. Um, but this is also like being able to be self-sufficient, which we associate with money. Just because you are self-sufficient doesn't mean that you are independent or alone, but the ability to be self-sufficient is really important. Then we have the Justice card. The Justice card is a cause and effect type card. It's win-win. Whenever we see the Justice or Judgment card, it's something that's favorable for you. Um, so something favorable is coming to you um, through the end of March here. Well, let's see what we've got going on. The first clarifying card we have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, again, that long-term type money that we were talking about. This is a card of leaving a legacy. It's a retirement card. Um, some of you could potentially be retired. Maybe your retirement is being slightly delayed as well. Um, or it could be a card of inheritance. So some of you could have some new money coming in. Or some of you could just be waiting for this money in general. And again, the note there's going to be patience. Definitely money is coming. You just need to continue to be patient. The next card we have is the star card. The star card is a card of renewal. It's a card of hope. Um, some people even refer to this as like the miracle card. So maybe you didn't expect this money or this thing to happen. Um, it's very well could be miracle-like, but there's going to be a really renewal that's coming with this because we did the full with that new beginning. Um, so whatever this new big thing that's coming in, it's going to definitely renew your energies and financially it will renew you as well. The next card that we have is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very free-spirited and very creative. Um, I feel like you're going to be more creative and free-spirited than you've been. You've kind of been like locked in this old groove or this very traditional, conventional type thinking. Um, however, creativity is going to pay off is what it's saying. Um, with creativity, you're going to be able to move into this new chapter better. You're going to be able to unlock this money better. Um, that's a weird way to say that. I'm trying to word that in a better way. But again, it's win-win for you. So by you being more free-spirited and free-willed and more creative, um, it's going to be beneficial for you. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. I realize we've talked a lot of money already in this reading, but think about job, career, finances, businesses you own, investments you have, anything associated with money. Okay. The first card that we have is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Um, if you look here, the Eight of Cups are stacked. The Eight Cups are stacked really nicely, but yet this person is still moving away from them. With the Eight of Cups, this is about withdrawing, retreating, and moving on. Um, moving on to something better. Again, I did mention some of you could be moving into a leadership role. I do think there's a lot of you that'll be switching jobs um, or taking on a new role. You're moving on to something better in those terms. The next card we have is the Hangman. The Hangman is a very stagnant card. Like you're quite literally hanging there by your foot waiting for some information. So likely at one point in time you weren't able to make this move. Again, we were waiting for something. Um, waiting obviously being the highlighted word this month for you in addition to money. Um, but you were waiting for more information before you could move on and which would retreat. Um, and then at the bottom here we have the Seven of Cubs. The Seven of Cups is having lots of different choices. So maybe you were just having to wait so you could weigh your options. Maybe you didn't have all the information. Um, I do see you finally making the move, but it seems like you've been waiting to make this move, whether it was into a new job or a new company altogether. Maybe you've been waiting to put your money into a new investment also. Let's see what other clarifying messages we have. We have the Ten of Wands, which is a card of stress, exhaustion, having lots of burdens. Um, a lot of you could be burned out in your current role, and that's what's prompting this move. Or maybe the workload is just too heavy. Um, it makes sense why you would want to move away from this. I feel like you're just really tired and burned out in your current job. The next card we have is the Sun card. Love to see the Sun card here, because obviously you are going through some sort of change, whether it's job role or maybe to an entirely different company. 
the sun card indicates material happiness joyous outcome and success so definitely this new move will be very successful for you you'll be glad you made the move at the bottom we have the ace of swords the ace of swords anytime we have an ace card it's a card of newness specifically the ace of swords um, is a new idea or a new mental clarity, which makes total sense because like I was saying before with the Seven of Cups, I feel like there's just a lot of options and you didn't have all the details before. Now you have the clarity that you need so you can make this decision, you can move on, and you'll get to this much happier point. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So this could be family, friends, relationships, children, anything we associate with love. We're going to throw another waiting card in there for you this month, Pisces, but we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience. It's a card of working hard. It's a card of uh, delayed success or having to wait. You see this person planted their pentacles and now they're just like sitting there waiting for the pentacles to grow. Um, so something in terms of love life you are waiting for as well. We'll see if we can clarify that up a little bit for you. The next card that we have by C's is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient and very honest. Um, I think I mentioned this already in your reading, but when we talk about self-sufficient, that doesn't necessarily mean you're alone, but self-sufficient is good whether you are alone or in a relationship or if you have a really wonderful family or you have a not so good family. Being self-sufficient is really important in life. Um, you, some of you may have been like waiting to this point of where you feel like you could do things on your own Pisces. The Queen of Swords is also about being honest. So if something comes up in your relationship this month, make sure you're very honest in what you want or how you're feeling. Then at the bottom we have the Emperor card. The Emperor card is a very respect-driven card. It's also strategic planning. It's long-term thinking. Um, a lot of you, I think, are like laser focused on the future right now and what you want your family to look like and what you want your house to look like and your marriage, and um, which is a good card to have. Again, we're in this honest point, and when you're honest with what you want, then it's much easier to create the future that you want. So let's clarify and see what other messages I can give you here. The first card that we have is the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about going within for clarity. If you see this light here, this is the light that's within you. Um, so this is also about being on a quest and sometimes being on this journey, being on your personal journey takes time. Um, I would take this as a reminder to make sure that you're focusing on the things that you want, that you know what you want in life. Again, we have a lot of long-term cards, and when we do long-term, we need to make sure, again, that we're clear on what we want. The next card we have is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, regret, grief. Um, some of you could be having some low feelings, and really more, I think, the message that's coming through with this Five of Cups is, you're talking about honesty associated with the Queen of Swords, and it's like, if you feel a certain way, you need to make sure that you tell people that's how you're feeling. Don't sweep it under the rug. Um, so be very honest this month in your feelings. Then at the bottom here, we have the King of Pentacles. Um, this is a very solid, practical type card. Um, again, they're just laser focused on the future, which is a good thing, Pisces. Um, you're realizing what you want, and maybe it's taken some time to get there. Um, the two very strategic long-term cards paired together there with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Now we're going to take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. Um, so this is like something to carry into the month of March, or the end of March with you. We have the card Balance. Balance is a really, really wonderful thing. So going into the end of March, you definitely will be feeling some more balance than you've felt in recent weeks or even months. Well, let's clarify the message here and see what I can give you. The first card that we have is the Devil card. The Devil card is an interesting card. So it can be a card associated with addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession. When I see this card, a lot of times it's like people are like almost compulsively focused or worried on something. Think like hyper focused on something. Um, if you're giving all of your energy and thought to one thing, then there's probably not much balance in life. 
So use this more as a warning that you do not obsess or hyper focus on anything going into the end of the month. The next card we have is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups, or excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, again, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. But with the Ace of Pentacles, this is typically new job, raise, promotion, investment, new income. We've talked a ton about money in this reading here for you, Pisces. Um, so I'm not surprised to see this, but again, I feel like a lot of you were stressed or burned out and exhausted. So there will be new balance with this new role or company that you're going to be working for. Then at the bottom we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is very patient, uh, but it is also an indicator of new job, raise, or some sort of money news. We have lots and lots of really good money cards sprinkled throughout this entire reading for you Pisces. But let's see what other messages I can give you. Clarify out this last row. At the top we have the moon. The moon is a good reminder to be trusting your intuition. You see the face in the sun there. That is like the indicator of intuition. Um, so just make sure you're trusting yourself as you work through these changes. Um, some of that overthinking or that hyperthinking or that um, obsession associated with the devil card could be like making up scenarios in your head. I'm not saying that you do that. I'm guilty of it for sure. I'm like, what if, what if, what if, what if? So try and stay out of the weeds with the what if and not overthink things because you are going to get balanced. There's definitely going to be a great financial reward with this transition that you're going through. The next card we have is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is um, oftentimes a card of gifts. I just think that you're like going to be gifted so much more with this new position, whether it's a raise or switching companies, but there definitely will be a financial reward associated with this. Then at the bottom, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of skill, craftsmanship. Um, it's very much a work card. It's a card of teamwork and collaboration too. So for some of you, you may not have had that best teamwork collaborative type energy going on, or you definitely will in this new position or new job. All right, at this point in time, I'm gonna give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're gonna use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the five of hearts. This is the number two card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the five of clubs. This is the number 33 card. That's gonna be a yes. And for question number three, we have the three of spades. This is the number 10 card. That's gonna be a yes also. So we have yes, yes, yes. So that looks really good for you. If you watched your video earlier this month, Pisces, we did pull a card from this Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to carry with you for the month of, month of March. You had Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is really good for softness. It's a love type card, gentle but firm. Also very much so a self-love card. And then last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Note deck because we can always use more healing. Your note says, there's something beautiful about all scars of whatever nature. A scar means the hurt is over, the wound is closed, healed, and done with. Thank you so much, Pisces, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how this video resonates with you. Also, if you subscribe, that helps me very, very much, and you'll be notified when I post new videos in the future. Typically post a couple Pisces videos a month. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of March, Scorpio, and thank you again. Or Pisces, thank you again.